Talking of uh, New Year's, I wonder how will the UK markets respond next year to what has been described as a very turbulent year. So I think many people are wondering what on earth is going to happen to, say, inflation, interest rates, what's going to happen to investment. Should we be optimistic? Because it seems that all of the news at the moment is rather pessimistic. Well, uh, joining me now is Paddy Osborne, who's Academic Dean and Managing Director of London Academy of Trading. Good morning. Good morning. So, t- 2023, please tell me it's going to be better. <laughs> um, well, I wish I could. I think 2022 was um, recently volatile. It wasn't as bad, I think, as people think. The, the FTSE actually this year is up. At the moment, it's up over 1%, uh, which is not very impressive, but it's a lot better than the American markets, which are down, the Nasdaq's down over 33%. So, um, in terms of this year's performance, it's been choppy. It's been up and down, sort of 10% up, 10% down. Had a really good rally October to through end of November and hasn't had that sort of rally at the end of the year, which we traditionally like to see. So going to next year, I think it's going to start bad and then it's going to improve. It's the, it's the broad picture. Why I do think, you say that? Uh, yeah, OK, so we've got a few things. We haven't yet had, I think, the full effect, the interest rate rises. People have been getting by kind of thing with the, the high inflation and it's starting to grind and a few people are really starting to suffer. It's also affecting the, the lower end of, of the pay society as well, which is, is unfortunate. But uh, so I think that's going to start to dig in. I think we've had a little boost over sort of October, November, which I think was slightly overdone. So I think there's some potential selling there. The reason I think that the FTSE has done OK is that the fact that it's quite heavy in sort of uh, commodity companies, BP, Shell, Glencore. These companies are up 50% this year, uh, which has really held the FTSE up much better than American markets. But I think the start of the year, first quarter, maybe first four or five months, is going to be tough going. We're going to see, I think, interest rates are not going to go up much further. I don't expect interest rates to go up maybe more than a half or maybe 1%. And, And why are you so confident about that? I think that inflation has peaked only just. I think October was the high in Europe and in the UK. Uh, June was the high back in um, back in June was the high in, in America, and it's now come down two percent, nine point one to seven point one in America. It's come off the high in the UK and Europe, and I think it's going to edge its way down. I think inflation will remain high pretty much, well, what we call high, above two percent target all year. I don't think it'll be back below two percent next year. So, so we're obviously talking a great deal about the union action and the strikes that are taking place. And of course, the government is resolute. It will not cave in. Now, clearly, if the government does award these big pay increases, surely that will then fuel inflation. So many of these predictions are then off. (laughs) Yes, there are so many moving parts. We've got, uh, you know, the the Russia-Ukraine situation is calming down a little bit now. We've got China coming out of lockdown and that could uh, that could improve the supply chain situation. So that's one of the main reasons for for the inflation is the fact that China is the biggest producer of goods in the world and they've not been producing goods. And people have come out of COVID, all sort of um, having saved money, not going on holiday, not going out out for evenings, whatever, for a year or so. And they've got money to spend. And they've sort of changed their approach on life, some some people, and thinking, well, the life's too short, let's go and spend some money. Demand has increased. Supply has decreased. We've had Brexit as well, which has affected the supply of services. And so, you know, people aren't working in bars. And so the prices of, of things are going up in bars and, and that expense as well. And then we had the Russia situation, which is the energy. And that pushed up uh, the oil price. So there's a whole catalogue of things no particular government or central bank's fault that we've had inflation, but they've got to try and do something about it. It's almost impossible job they have to, to bring down. But just in terms of where, where we go from here, clearly the government's mantra is about stability. That was the whole thing that freaked the markets under Liz Trust. Now, Rishi Sunak is a pragmatist. Obviously, he is really a numbers man. How, mu- how important is it for the markets to see that actually the UK has a plan? It feels like a stable plan. I don't think it's a very adventurous plan. It certainly doesn't help people in the here and now but how important is that to ensuring stability yeah I, th- I think it's very good and i think rishi sunak is doing a good job and, and he's bought some stability fairly quickly after the absolute carnage from from trust and, and cross which was just uh, the thinking behind it was nice but uh, it was the wrong time completely so i think uh, rishi sunak it's relatively boring if you like but i think it's important that the uk you know doesn't overextend itself with borrowing because that thing going to be more expensive in the longer run um, and i think just being prudent and sensible
responsible with money, whether it's just a household, whether it's a government. And I think that's what um, that's what Rishi Sunak does. So I think yeah, it's not going to be spectacular. It looks like he's holding a fairly firm line on the on the on the, all the different people striking, looking for huge pay deals. Yep. I think there's going to be some agreement, obviously, at some stage, and it's going to be in between where they're sitting at the moment. I um, agree. But I, you know, I, I really hope that it's not going to be too huge because that will then uh, throw some of my little uh, inflation predictions <laughs> out the window. Indeed, it will, Paddy. Very good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. That's Paddy Osborne, academic dean and managing director of London Academy of Trading.